Hello my friends, it's Danny, and we are just about a week out from Halloween and here in the Clean and Delicious kitchen, it is a tradition that we make chili on Halloween. So today I am making a straight up classic and I'm showing you how to make some chili con carne. Now if you are not a meat eater, don't worry about it. I will give you some vegetarian and vegan options here. Plus, I'm going to link down in the description box below to a whole bunch of veggie chilies that I have shared over the years, so you will have plenty of options. So the first thing I'm going to do is chop up my veggies because I find whenever I'm working at the stove, it's just a lot easier if all the veggies are chopped and ready to go beforehand. So all we need is one chopped up onion, four to five cloves of chopped up garlic, and then one chopped bell pepper. I'm using a green bell pepper, but you can of course use any color that you have on hand. And then the only other ingredient I like to chop up before we get started is a chipotle pepper in adobo sauce. These are spicy peppers that come packed in this smoky sauce, and it is a super easy way to add a lot of flavor and a lot of depth to a quick cooking chili just like this one. Now you can usually find them right in the grocery store, either by the beans or by the taco shells. Um, they're definitely worth hunting down because they add a ton of flavor. So I've got a nice big pot heating over a medium heat and I'm going to add one tablespoon of avocado oil. Once that oil has heated through, in goes my onion along with a pinch of salt. Just move that around the pan again and then once those onions are fragrant and beginning to look a bit translucent, I'm going to add in the pepper, the garlic, and some seasonings. I've got another pinch of salt along with a tablespoon of chili powder and a teaspoon of dried oregano. Give that all a good stir, let it go for another few minutes. You just wanna get the raw edge off of the veggies and then add in one tablespoon of tomato paste and that chopped up chipotle pepper. Again, one more stir here. Now just a note, if you like a lot of heat or spice in your chili, you could add an extra couple tablespoons of the sauce from the chipotle peppers or you could really go crazy and chop up an extra pepper. Once I've got all of that mixed together, I'm ready to add in the meat. Now I've got one pound of grass-fed ground meat here. I'm gonna get that into the pan and then with my wooden spatula, I'm just gonna break it down. You wanna break it down until you've got it into small little crumbles so that it can brown up a bit and we wanna cook all the pink off of the meat. Now I get a lot of questions about meat from you all and when it comes to meat, I do believe in quality. So a lot of the meat that I use, I get from a company called ButcherBox. They are a monthly delivery service and they bring high quality pastured grass fed meats right to your door. They make it very easy to get your hands on good quality meat. So if that's something you're interested in, they do offer everybody in the clean and delicious community $20 off their first box plus a pack of free bacon. So I'll leave all that information for you down in the description box below if that's something that you're interested in. Now for all of my vegan and vegetarian friends out there, you also have options because my dear friends, there are always options. It's the first thing you could do is go to the freezer section at the grocery store and buy the vegan crumbles. They're like a meat substitute and just literally sub them in. You would take the beef out, add the crumbles in and continue the recipe. You'd have yourself a lovely vegan chili there. Or you could sub in some lentils. But what I would do is buy the lentils already cooked. A lot of times at the grocery store, you can find vacuum packed um, lentils in the produce section. I know they have them at Trader Joe's and I've seen them at other grocery stores as well. And you just sub that in for the meat, right? So instead of doing the meat, you would do the lentils and then follow the recipe. Both of those options would absolutely work. Okay, so once the meat is broken down, like I have here, I'm gonna add in one can of low sodium chicken broth, Give that a stir, turn up the heat, let everything come to a boil, and then I'm gonna turn it down and let it simmer for 10 minutes. Then once all of those flavors have spent a little time together, the next thing that goes in is a can of diced fire roasted tomatoes and your beans. I like to use two cans of beans and I like to do two different beans. So I'm doing pinto beans and navy beans, but of course use whatever beans you have on hand and whatever beans you like. Then I'm just gonna let that come back up to a simmer and let it simmer away for 10, 15 minutes. Really, you just wanna see that chili has thickened up a bit and then it's ready to serve. Personally, I love to top this with some shredded cheese and some diced up onion, but of course you could do this with any of your favorite chili toppings. And my friends, if you are planning to serve this to a crowd, I would definitely double the recipe and then serve a toppings bar along with some guacamole and chips. It is a complete crowd pleaser and super easy to make. And for all of my meal preppers out there, whip this one up on the weekends, individual containers, and you are ready to go with a really easy and comforting lunch or dinner for a busy week. 
So now, of course, I wanna hear from you. What are your favorite chili toppings? Come down to the comments below and let me know. And if you haven't already, please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share this video with anybody else you know who likes to make healthy eating easy. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Danny Spees, and I will see you back here next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers. Hello, my friends. It's Danny, and today I am. It's Danny, and it is. Hello, my friends. It's Danny, and. You know what it is, is I'm racing the hiccup. One, two, three. Shh. Hello, my friends. It's Danny. <laughs> I got the hiccups, y'all.